What's up guys, it's Eric from Beastline. Today we have here a 2019 Toyota 4Runner and we're going to be installing this plug and play micro power amplifier. It will enhance your sound system as if you have a sound system in your vehicle. Plug and play install is very very easy and it will make your non-JBL stereo system sound better than the JBL. So we're very very excited to install this today. So let's go inside the car and get started. Alright guys, so now that we're in the vehicle, we're going to be doing is removing these two panels first. You can use a panel removal tool, but you can also just place two hands like this and just massage it out. Just left, right, left, right. Okay, like so. We'll do it on the driver's side. Okay, there you go. Alright, next we're gonna remove this piece here. This is the climate control. Just Put both of your finger in here and then go ahead and just grab the top of the knob area and just pull it out. Like so. And then flip this. There's going to be this piece over here you want to remove. Just all you have to do is press down on the release tab. You can use a little flat head to push it or you could just use your fingers. And do it on both sides. Okay, and just push it out. And then we're going to remove this. Connector, push down on the release time and pull out. Alright, we'll place this aside. Okay, next step. There's gonna be four 10 millimeter bolts. One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and remove that. Alright, sweet. So next thing we're going to do is before we remove the radio, let's go ahead and open the glove box. And then here, you'll find this little panel piece here. We're going to remove this. The reason why we're doing this is because we're going to actually mount the amplifier here. Because it can, it, there's no place to fit it behind the radio. It's a little bit on the, it's a little too big. So we're going to place it here. When the harness coming through here, we're gonna we're gonna cut this piece out of grommet so that you have the wires coming out of grommet, and then everything's gonna be plug and play. All right, so we're gonna go back to the radio. Go ahead and pull it out. Place a thick towel. Make sure you place this thick towel on top of this area because what will happen is you might have a big risk of scratching this piece here. So I'm gonna go over this and I'm gonna pull this out. Okay, when you pull this out, go ahead and place this on the towel. Make sure the metal brackets are all sitting on top of the towel, like so. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. So inside here, I got some instructions in Japanese. We'll also include the English instructions. We also have the micro power amplifier. Go ahead and set it here, and we also have the plug and play harness. So how this harness is going to connect. Alright, this side here is going to connect to here. So we got the high level input. And then we also have this other gray plug going into there. And the only thing we need to do is connect this battery. Right here, this bullet, po bullet connector. And we also have this ground. We're gonna ground this on the side of the radio, the bracket. I'm gonna do it right, right there. Okay, so let me go ahead, unplug this one more time. What we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the, the factory connectors first behind the radio, and we're going to route this to the glove compartment area. So, the only cables, only connectors we are going to be working on is this over here and then also the one right next to it, these two, okay? So I'm going to just pull this out just for, so it's easier to access. This car also has our car plate installed, so the colors of these cables may look a little different. So we're going to unplug these two. And 
this one here. Alright. Here's our plug and play harness. Just daisy chains. It's a T harness. And then here's our other one. This is the power harness. It goes in right there. Alright, sweet. Okay, so once we got these going, let's go ahead and I'm gonna ground this. Got it right there. Okay, now that we went and installed all this, we're gonna go ahead and route these guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go behind the radio, left hand, and then with your right hand, we're gonna catch the wires, okay? It's a lot of room. Catch these connectors with your right hand, we're gonna pull it out. So it's gonna come out like this. Alright, so let me go ahead and let this hang out here for a little bit and then we're gonna go and we're gonna put the radio back. Let's go ahead and mount the radio back. And don't forget to replug all the connectors that you removed. bolt it on a little bit later and on this side all we have to do is do this but before we do that we're going to add the grommet here all right like so so we are going to go ahead and cut a hole up here okay around here all right so let's go to the bench and do it all right so we got this grommet from amazon we're going to be cutting a hole we're going to squeeze it in here okay So it's gonna be like right here. Like around here, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off by using a knife here. And then maybe around here. So here is the result of our cut. Went ahead and just cut slowly and just worked our way out, just measuring and test fitting it on the way. And on the back side here, make sure to also flatten out these little little marks. Uh, I think these are all the mold marks. Go ahead and flatten those out so that the grommet will be able to get between the panel easier. It's a little bit smaller on the whole. That's why you see this coming in like this, but shouldn't matter once it's in there and then the wire is going to be coming out through this little hole that we slit with our knife. So let's go back to the car and let's put this panel back in. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just place this through this opening here. Right here. And then let's go ahead and place this panel back in place. All right. Okay, like that. Got the wire sticking out here, and we're going to connect this here, like so. Okay. All right. And then note that the floor, the ground is not going to be even. There's a little, there's a little bump here. So we're gonna either add some extra layer of double-sided tape to create the thickness that's compared to this, so that the amp will sit flat, like so. So before we do this, let's go ahead and do a quick check to make sure everything's working. Alright, looks like the sound's coming out. I see the LED on the micro amplifier box, so everything's working as it should. Let me go ahead and find some double sided tape to mount the amplifier. Okay, alright, so we went ahead and the double sided tape here. We also layered some on the other side mm -hmm. so that we could level these guys out. And we're going to go ahead and just carefully place it on there. Okay, you only have one shot at this, so make sure 
Don't make a mistake. Okay, let's do it like that. Alright, sweet. And then this door will close without any issues. Alright, and then that concludes our installation. All we have to do is reverse order what we just did. And now we have a car with amazing sound system that sounds better than the factory JBL. Any questions? Leave a comment below or shoot us an email at info at bsonicusa.com. And if you're local to us, give us a ring. We'll be more than happy to install it for you. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and like our video.